Hello, and thank you for coming to this video. This video is all about Process Monitor by Sysinternals, and it's from Microsoft. We have downloaded it, and the link should be in the description, and also the video of how we got it should pop up over here. Once you've downloaded it and unzipped it, you basically then open up the folder, find Procmon, right-click on that, and run as administrator. What it does, it literally monitors all activity happening on your computer. Everything to do with the registry, any read, writes, changes, etc. to the registry. Anything happening on the disk drive could be file reads, file writes, changes, deletes of files, etc. Everything. And also network and processes. Now it does capture a lot of data in a very quick amount of time. If you let it run for a longer amount of time, it literally will capture bucket loads, gigabytes worth of data. Now, there's a couple of ways you can actually use this program. One way is to monitor, for example, a particular program. And you want to see what registry actions it is doing, what files it's accessing, reading, and writing to that you're basically trying to monitor what a particular program is doing. So the way you actually do it is once you've started it up, you will just clear the display because it gathers a lot of data. Start capturing. And as you can see, it looks very simple, but within seconds, it's building up very, 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 very quickly. So I'm just going to stop the capture because that's a lot. And for example, if I wanted to monitor by what Explorer is doing, as you can see over here, it's only showing Explorer. And that's because I actually use a filter. So once we have captured all the data, we want to narrow it down to a particular program, for example. Let's go on filter. You can always reset a filter. We had our filter on just looking at Explorer. For example, if I want to find what Explorer is actually doing, as I just had, I just go into filter and then change it to process name. As you can see, it shows time, process name, process ID, operation path. You can add a few more. And I'm going to put process name contains because I want to make it as broad as possible. Explorer. And then click Add, click OK, and then that's narrowed it down to Explore. And then I can see just by registry what it's doing. If I want to get rid of the rest, it'll show me what registry actions it did. If I want to get rid of the registry and look at file actions, as you can see over here, it created a file, a temp file for the proc one. And it's also done a bit of extra stuff. It's grid files, closed files, query directories, all these things. You can then look at network activity and then the process and thread activity as well. So that's how you narrow it down and look at what a particular program is doing. This is you're trying to find maybe abnormalities. It's looking in certain directories where it shouldn't be looking, it's looking in certain registry parts that it shouldn't be looking in, or creating certain files. You're trying to find abnormal behavior with a program. So you can actually monitor a program this way. Another way that you can use Process Monitor is actually to find certain hidden registry keys. Okay? Now, we, in our previous video, showed how to add seconds over there by modifying the registry. Please have a look at our video and that should show it. Now, what we did is to find one of those keys, you go to options and then enable boot logging. This basically means when you start up, it starts monitoring from when you started up. So you would click on enable boot logging and then click OK and then restart your computer. Once it's restarted, 
you then open up process monitor and then it'll ask you to save the log file and it'll create all these now that's about a gig in literally a minute or two worth of kind of like booting up so let's open up one of those and I'm gonna reset the filter I am now going to create a filter and it's going to be for path now let's just go down to path and contains and show seconds add okay I'll just enlarge this and as you can see when it booted up and we logged in there was a registry check for show seconds in system clock and it did not find it so we have identified a registry key that when enabled would show the system clock now this is how you find keys that you're looking for now obviously we knew which key we're looking for but the way you would actually find it is basically you'd look for in the results name not found and there'd be a lot of homework going through a long list of all registry keys that were not found and then you do your homework to find out what they do so we have show seconds in system clock and we found that and we were able to then modify the registry and add seconds in the system clock so hopefully this very quick introduction to process monitor and how it can be used to monitor the actions of a program and also to find registry settings that can help you to enable certain features however be careful when you are dealing with these because you don't want to change things in the registry that you're unsure of so always do your research okay thank you for watching have a lovely day